Bortel, excuse me. And on deck is uh, Lucy Craigion. Mr. Well, Chair, thank you. Mr. Chair, members of the committee, uh, appreciate your time today. Uh, I don't have written testimony, but I'll get that email to you right after this. Um, I was compelled to speak based on what I've heard here today. I'm a parent. I have two children at home. My oldest son, Colin, will be five next year, kindergartner. He likes Legos, monster trucks, and I fear this bill will make him less safe. We know that 98% of mass shootings defined by the FBI as four or more murders not related to gang violence occur in gun-free zones defined where law-abiding citizens are not able to be armed or prohibited by some private or um, municipal regulation. This bill would move New Hampshire into that category, I fear. I'm aghast that so many speakers call this common sense. Uh, Tracy from Bo previously, uh, Mr. Last Name, alleged that uh, there's no personal connection to schools, that gun-free zones are not a factor. We know this is not true. Uh, thinking back to the Aurora, Colorado, Batman movie theater shooting a number of years ago, that attacker picked a theater that was smaller and further away than other candidates because it was the one that was a gun-free zone. Uh, these people want to do damage, they want to be successful, and they pick places that they're going to have the least resistance. Um, <coughs> There was commentary in the hallway, people concerned that there was guns here. Uh, people not familiar with firearms seem to be confused between law-abiding citizens with firearms and criminals with firearms. Um, I think you have the same issue driving on the road. Is this minivan approaching you, piloted by someone texting on the phone or someone who's paying attention to the road? Um, the Crime Prevention Research Institute has noted that in states that track it, concealed carry permit holders are actually more law-abiding than law enforcement. Um, most law enforcement folks are excellent people. There are some bad apples, but as a population, licensed concealed carry holders in states that track it at least, they're actually even more law-abiding than law enforcement, lower rate of crime. <laughs> Detailed analysis of mass shootings shows that the shooting stops when the criminal encounters are in resistance. Often, mentally deranged shooters turn their weapon on themselves when they encounter armed resistance. There have been claims that many teachers do not want firearms in school. I guarantee that if a deranged criminal came to their school, welcomed by a gun-free zone sign, those teachers would reconsider, wishing that other teachers or other staff or a parent armed with a firearm was there to meet that challenge. Because huddling under desks and fighting with pencils is not going to cut. I'm happy that right now, potential attackers of the school are given pause, considering New Hampshire schools uh, as a target because of these restrictions do not apply. They don't know what they're getting into at the school. And God forbid such an incident were to occur, the chances of an attacker meeting resistance are much higher than other places. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Mr. Kohler. Now, any, uh, any questions of the presenter? <coughs> Madam Perry, thanks so much. And you'll, you'll send us a copy of your statement? I will, yes. Thank you very much.